Do you want to tell the viewers what happened to you on your way home yesterday? <laughs> Matt gaffed me in his in his truck. According to him. And one spectator. And everybody else on 295. I guess it doesn't count that I passed you around 120. No, it doesn't count because my truck stops going at 100, so <laughs> you're right, it doesn't count. <laughs> my done thing already stopped moving. Did you ask any dumb questions or something? No. I'm just talking s*** because I him up on 295 last night. I'm not sure how that's possible, though. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Did you just pull up next to him and floor it? <laughs> no, I waited. Yeah. I got, he was like pointing for me to get alongside him. I started downshift. I was in like fourth gear and then he took off. I had to get a jump. <laughs> yeah. Car should have reeled him in. I was going to say, would he you trap like 100? 100. Yeah. Would you, would you trap? 129. Yeah. <laughs> he got a 30 mile an hour. And, uh, well, that's why they did a 30 way longer to reel me in there than I damn Dude, people, like, you would be shocked at, like, what just a, a hit, like, when you're roll racing does. Yeah. Like, it takes a lot to overcome that. I mean, 30 mile an hour should, you know, obviously that will... Well, what was even worse, like I said, I was in fourth gear and I was in manual mode. Dude, so I had to bump it back in the <laughs> auto. <laughs> Yeah, no one likes excuses, man. No one likes a sore loser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's by an intro or yeah. Now, Matt and Kyle need to do a little re-race. That would be a good race. Yeah. What, you and me? No. Oh. You and him. So I'd be looking at your like that. <laughs> we should try, like, a, a roll. You could take my V on racing. That'd be a good race. Too. Yeah, that's what I was... I want to race the V. One of them can drive it, because I don't give a <laughs> and I give a <laughs> if it wins or loses. <laughs> this thing's getting like a full stage five build, right? Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why I just said I guess six times. Me, but yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess also. You know, iron block, rods, piston, A and A kit, LT4 high side, low side. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's getting met. Which is a good thing. Just. Trust me when I say it. He's getting that big old 6.6 .6 liter. Beautiful. Is this, this thing getting a pro charger or a? Uh, it's getting a A and A bracket, probably a Vortec blower, if I'd guess. Probably a, something like a V2 head unit. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Trying to think of what else I can put on this thing. Actually, why don't we go up front and get the box? Okay. Let's do it. Is it a Grand Sport? That? Yeah. It's actually a base model with Z06 body parts. Oh, okay. What the f is this? Oh. Oil cooler. They got them brand spanking new shiny new heads on there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Disgusting yeah. ass valve cover. This <laughs> ass valve cover. <laughs> you know, I used to have 400 sets of these things and throw them all away. Throw them all away. Sick of looking at them. I am modifying this bracket because on the iron block, the boss on the box, like right here not back here so I'm gonna I just milled this flat and then I'm gonna hack this nub off once I know this is milled enough because I'm using that old hole to 
make sure it's flat. Got it. And then I'll just use a spacer and drill a new hole. Good to go. Okay. This bolt's on the front for the AC compressor. And obviously the non-forked bolt, bolt two here on the side. So that'll sit like that. I see. And I'll mill a spacer to sit behind it. Make sure you wear about this. Right around this area. I'll try welding on this little nub and see see if I can even weld to this. Haven't practiced in like a week. It wouldn't show your last weld on camera. Yeah, what the f <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a camera up your the prettiest thing in the world but it's strong I thought you were gonna put it in with the blower matter to it yeah well I would if I had a water pump Gerald Gerald Genasi <laughs> Gerald yeah you know your uncle you ever met him <laughs> Gerald Genasers Hey, Dad, do you know who Jail Genasics is? Yes. Really got you good with that one. Got you good, you f***er. You got me. Oh, what was that, a joke? Yeah. Well, that's higher than I prefer to be working. Well, I might need your help because I got this car six feet in the air. I don't know why you'd be doing that. Well, because I put a in it. I'm too lazy to take the tire off. I just want to get this thing in here so I can eat a piece of pizza. Can you watch me on that? When you're just standing here, try and pay attention to shit that I might be on. Nice. Hoping this thing goes in. See, I can't remember if I need to move this rack out. Let's get this thing down to the ground a little bit. So. Fans is chilling Okay. Um, I'm What'd you forget? Nothing, I just need to move the oh, jack. Yeah, yeah. Hold that thing so I can pivot. Too easy on the fucking fix chain. Whoa! Too far back, move forward. Well, pull your side forward out. There we go. So, assembly-wise, with this 6.6-liter .6 iron block, is there any difference at all as far as putting it together? 
As opposed to just like an LT4? Pretty much our normal LT rotating assembly just with an iron block. Only because right now it's almost impossible to find LT1 blocks or even like aluminum truck blocks. Mm -hmm. um, these things are like 2023 blocks. Dude! So that's the only, that's the main reason we went iron is it's really the only thing you can buy brand new. Matt, I hear you over here saying, does that mean you're in a better mood now? Not necessarily. <laughs> what a fantastic 90 degree bend on that bracket. Why are you having to do so much like custom fabrication? For That's just what I do, okay? <laughs> Every one of these motherfuckers is one off custom. Is that for the catch can? Sure is. So you got the blower and stuff on? And stuff. And stuff. With that custom uh, Matt Janosic oil, oil catch can bracket. See how that clamps. You know, it's like none of these kits have a pipe that just goes directly in the throttle body. It's always some dumb man with some stupid clamps looking on. <laughs> dumb. <sighs> That's gonna be it. So I'm not being high enough there. I will say this has the simplest piping of any. Blower kits we install. Big Bubba blow off valve? Not only is it the Big Bubba, it's got the 2004 horn on her. I never saw I haven't seen that. <laughs> yeah. No, you probably never seen one. Not one that looks like that. That's going before your time. Oh, there she is. They make some big Whoops, old sick. noises. Oh, that thing's in like. <laughs> I wish I had some wisdom to offer you, but I don't. I've never installed one of these before. I just don't get why some of these companies do the sh they do. Why, why would they put a dummy? I can't even see what you're turning. Turn it. I understand. It's oh, it's the vent for the dry sump tank, and I don't understand why they would. Why would you ever want that blocked off? So like, I want to drill it out, and I'm like, that's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to draw out. No. I wonder if it... You think they did that on purpose? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a straight plug. It's not like they forgot to drill the pipe or something. Like, it's just solid. So there's not even a hole in the pipe. No. I'm not sure why they would do that. And then they give you this and run some stupid hose that valve cover, which I'm not going to do. I'll just cap this off. And do it. I'm trying to think of a reason why they would even do that, and I can't think of one. That's what I'm just telling Gary. Like, I don't like, because if you were just not going to use that at all and you were going to run that to a catch can, you wouldn't need that thing on the fucking intake. Right. <laughs> like, it literally makes like, no why sense. Like, did, why didn't they just give you a vacuum hose to, or cap to put on the can and just eliminate the hose? Yeah, because if you were eliminating that from there and running it into a catch can or something, like, there wouldn't be anything on the intake. So it's you like wouldn't they, need it's that It's like there. they literally just gave you this so you had somewhere to snap the hose into. Found my solution here, Gerald. All right. What uh? That's a C7 filter, or is that just a filter that happened to fit? No, nope, this is just a regular old k style filter. Look how good it looks. Looks looks very good. Right? I mean, am I right? <laughs> Oh, I was asking you earlier, since you can't really get like the intake to like a, I guess it's necessarily like really good position because there's just not room or anywhere to route it. The intercooler makes up for a lot of that. Yeah. I'm a little worried about your sanity over here, Matt. Uh, what? 
your sanity. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I've lost it years ago. <laughs> yeah. no, need to, no need to worry anymore. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> You're just about wrapped up with this thing, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, Fran's still got to play with the file. But it runs. Ran pretty good. Nice, it's very quiet. The motor's quiet, I mean. Car oh. loud, but the engine's quiet. I'm excited to see what this thing ends up making. Now, the problem is it's got no fuel. It's going to be on low boost. But it probably makes 600 and going 624. Really? That low? I thought we were going to make more of all this. No, we can't turn it up. We're going to run out of fuel. Next year, when it comes back to the fuel system and mess and will turn it up. Then it, you know, makes like 900. I'll pull it out of there. Didn't do that yet. Big bubble blow off valve is pretty, pretty loud. Yeah, it's loud as <laughs> It's, it's cool. I think I'm back. Pooh! Nice and Fran to get here. I'm just going to go ahead and put the bumper and wheels on, get it off the lift. Let Fran play with the tune when he gets here. Yeah. I'm about to just saw this nipple the f off because it looks dumb. It looks like somebody's going to look at that and be like, oh, f asshole didn't hook the f thing up. I'm cutting it off. <laughs> I'm cutting it off. What'd you do with my clamp? Jed, clamp it! Where, honestly, where, where could it have went? Right here. God, you couldn't see that? I wasn't looking. No sh**. God, you were probably one of them kids, your dad asked you to go find something in the basement. You just go down there and like... I can't find it. I don't see it, dad! <laughs> you get all mad, walk down there. Where the f here? <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Stairmaster. Yeah. You do this for a week and I'll f***ing rearm the rest of you. Okay. I want to get this. I, I think I want to change this hose. I don't know. Yeah. What are you changing? I don't like the way this hose looks. I was hoping the thing would cover it, but I might just change it. Try and get it underneath the air filter. It definitely doesn't look great. I just, I need some of this. Just be in there like that. I thought you, you're, there's no way you're getting a thing on this. I'm not getting a thing, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So I want to route it under the air filter so it's not so bad. Is what I really want to do is just do the whole line rubber and get rid of this. I mean, right that's what I always do. Well, that's what I'm saying, Gerald. I need some But I use the stock line. And it comes up and goes in to that. We gotta find some. I mean, I've been, I've been working on this car for a week. But, yeah, but, 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 but. Man, I got I gotta get done. Yeah, I mean, and I know you gotta roll <laughs> that hose behind over there. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, you, I, you need to. You need to get, you need to get lost. <laughs> there you go. Look, the blue matches the blue. We're in there like swimming. There. Let's get this going. Not need a clamp, that's for sure. Ah! Go ahead, see if you can get that f on a little more. Did you didn't move it, did you? Yeah, I did. Huh. I got it all the way to the bottom. It was fairly easy, too. You know how this time going, man. He's got all that strength in the world, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Beat his f every night. Yeah. <laughs> you I gotta wash this mother. Yeah, yeah I'd is. like you to wash, wash it today if you have time. This thing is. Disgusting. Big F word out of here, ladies and gentlemen. What? Not good. Not supposed to cuss on the camera. Snipple the f off. No sh. Some dumb f mag with some stupid f clan clicking on. Dumb. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Yeah. This is a very PG shop. Man, who cuts these hoses and then just throws them on the floor? I mean, not me, so it's gotta be you. Did you get your money back from DoorDash? Uh, forty forty one dollars back. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. So I got like six sixty six percent of it back. Sixty. Fucking nerd. I'll take it. 
I'm pretty good with math, and even I wouldn't say that. We did this thing a while ago, and now it came back in, we put a short block in it. We did an iron block. This is the first uh, LT iron block that we did. Um, we used all his stuff out of his, his other engine that we did too. Um, so stock crank and our drop-in rods and pistons and stuff in that. Then we added an A&A uh, V3T head unit, LT4 high side pump and injectors, uh, catch can, and a set of cylinder heads, and a cam. So we did a bunch of stuff. This is no meth and no E85, so it's straight pump gas only. So we'll see how far it can go. Um, it depends how much boost it makes. If it makes too much boost, we might have to knock it down, but we'll find out. Oh, by the way, it's a 14 C7 manual. All right, I did like three or four pulls to like, I haven't made a full pull yet, but to dial it in. I went to like 5,400 so far. Uh, so this will probably be a full pull or pretty close to it, so. how much boost it's going to make it make nine and a half pounds there um which is is, is okay no fuel system and all this thing is going to be tough i'm going to have to uh crank the fuel pump on the, up on this thing because fuel pressure dropped a little bit there to like 50. It is making killer power. It's awesome. Please fuel pressure. Oh, uh, I haven't checked, but I'm going to guess that it is. AITs are getting hot as f Yeah, 30, 39 pounds, 33 pounds yeah, of fuel pressure. Yeah. Yeah, but AITs are 164, with no meth. And that's at 10 degrees of timing. It pulled it down to peak because it's pulling 7.2 degrees of timing because of the AITs are so hot. Oh uh, yeah, look at the torque. Went from 581 to 669 because it was not spinning. And that's why it made more boost too. Yeah. 10 pounds. All right, we need a smaller pulley. We'll be back. This thing might make close to this. I mean, granted the 780 power was like a first pull and then I realized what it was making and I, I didn't really tune it in, but this thing will probably still make 750. So, and on like seven, eight pounds on straight 93, that's good. Made the same power. Yeah, already. 8.7 pounds as opposed to 10 pounds. I got the same timing in it and sh too. What are you looking at? Aaron. Like He's new here, bro. I, I just don't understand how these kids go 20 something years and, and that don't work ratchet. I mean, I don't know the answer to that either, all right? But I'm sure someone does. Someone needs to teach him how to work a ratchet strap. All right. Well, now he knows. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit more fuel, actually. I'll have you know, I've never used a ratchet strap before. Hey, man, don't sweat it. <laughs> Matt said, Matt, Matt will be that dad that yells at his kid for not knowing something when he never taught him. <laughs> Probably not, Matt will be a good dad. I'm actually going to take some timing out of this thing. It's because I think it had a little too much in it for the street on straight 93. Like for the dyno, it was probably okay, but it got a little knock there, so. It won't make as much power here. Probably 20 less. Oh, f you didn't. I thought you started the f***ing recording. F f f new kids. I thought he started the recording on the screen and he f***ing didn't. That's your job from now on, bro. Okay. Make sure that shit is f***ing running. Anyway, it's going to make less power now because uh, I took like two degrees of timing out of it. So it might make like probably 20 less. Seven eighty 
too. It makes right at nine pounds, so that's uh, that's better there. Yeah, I guess it's a big Bubba blow off valve. Yeah, big Bubba. This thing's gonna be pretty damn fun, man. For a pump gas only, on nine pounds. All right, it's uh, let's see what we got. I gotta, I gotta pull some fuel out of it. Fuel pressure is dropping hard on this thing, on the, on this stock pump. Man, I don't know if we'll be able to turn this stock fuel pump up enough. That was another reason why we changed the pulley, I forgot. Because it was dropping to like 30. Let's see if this does it. If not, I don't know what we're gonna have to do. I also don't want to crank the stock fuel pump too hard and risk burning that up, you know? So, let's see what this does. Okay, let's try it. Right now it went to 30 PSI at 6,800. If we can't get that to like, like 50, if it drops to 50, it should be okay because it's still gonna hold decent pressure there and air fuel will be fine, but 30 is a no-go. to bill um customer's gonna hold off and doing anything else for now just because this kind of this build kind of progressed so i think he's uh at his budget for this part of it so i'm just gonna lower the limiter to probably like six thousand um fuel pressure still decent there like even at you know what it is now 68 6900 it's not going lean so it's not necessarily unsafe but i don't feel right shipping it out of here knowing that the pressure is dropping that far because say the fuel pump starts to slowly die after the fact from pushing it so hard, it may lean out up top. So I'll just put it down to like 6,000 um, and he can drive it and enjoy it. Um, and then once he's ready for a fuel system, he can come back and uh, we'll do that and we'll turn it up and I don't know what this thing will make. Like if this thing has E and meth, and stuff on it. I mean, this thing will make killer power. So I'm gonna probably put the limiter at like 6,000 and then we'll send it. But it made 782 um, and that was hot because I, you know, you guys just watched me make, I don't know, seven pulls in a row. Um, but I have timing out of it now. So it makes like 760 now. Yeah, but other than that, it's good. This thing turned out pretty cool. Like I said, it was the first iron block we've done. This thing's pretty neat. So I'm gonna turn the limiter down see what we make like at 6,000. It's probably gonna, still gonna make like 700, honestly. But I'll record that. I'm gonna change some stuff in the tune and then uh, we'll do a final pull. All right, let's see what this thing makes to 6,000. That's six thousand. It makes a whole lot more power. The extra seven thousand, the extra thousand RPM. It made six twenty-six. I guess from six thousand on, it just really starts to. I mean, it only made seven pounds. So I just checked out there. It's six thousand on the pulls when I was going past it. Uh, it makes like six seventy-five ish at uh, six thousand RPM. So I mean, it's down like a hundred horsepower. You know, eighty to hundred horsepower from 6,000 versus 7,000, but it's a centrifugal blower. So, I mean, that's pretty much given there. I mean, they just make more power, you know, as end boost as you rev it higher. So, but still, I'm sure he'll be happy with it. It's more than, significantly more than he had before. Uh, and this thing will run good until he comes back for a fuel system. Let's go on to the next. 
I blow off valves. <laughs> <laughs>